Hello, this is Brobot and Don Watcho bringing you another cast of a PVT. Oh, yeah. And in the top right, we've got a red Protus named Diz. The bottom left, Diz? we've got the blue Terran White Ninja. You think you think this is the Great White Ninja? It could be the Great White Ninja, the Great White Hope. Could be uh, any of them. Rest in peace, Chris Farley. What a great movie. <laughs> what a great movie. I like that. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a little silly. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so, PVT. Mm -hmm. What do we got going on here? What do you think? So, this is a pretty big map. It is a two-player map, so you know where they spawn, but it is a pretty big distance. I mean, you have to go from here all the way down and then around, right? Unless yeah, you especially without here. the rocks, it's a long mm -hmm. distance. A very long time. You have yeah. a little choke here. I like, what I like doing, I like floating a little overlord, maybe like right here. Yeah, this is a uh, PVT. Uh, sorry, buddy, but yeah, sorry. what really what you want to <laughs> do here, um, I mean, I really think plain standard is the best on this, and this is from a Protoss perspective against Terran, and that would be a fast expand. Usually you want to expand after you get your gateway, then cyber, and then get your uh, stalker coming out. Right around then is when you want to expand and then get your uh, second and third gateway like immediately after. Mm -hmm. There's so. a number of variations on this, but that's generally about when you want to do the timings. Now, Terran, I don't exactly know what is standard and what you want to do because, uh, you know, uh, there's like a, a, a fast command center that I think is probably the standard that's probably pretty good, but, you know, uh, Terrans really like to do that two racks play against... Uh, Protoss and or stim timings or you know bullshit like that, but l let's check this one out and see how this plays out. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks like they're playing pretty standard. Uh, he's open up with a barracks and a gas, getting a second gas. So that is a little telling it. Yeah, that's interesting. You get the second gas that early. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Maybe some sort of cloaked banshee. He can Banshee is right now. definitely possible, definitely yeah. Getting some type but of I think that he, um, I think he stopped the the scout. I don't think the probe was allowed to get in there to scout, which really sucks for the Protoss to be kind of in the dark like that. Yep. I think he should be continuously pushing up the probe to see uh, what kind of uh, tech add-on there is on that barracks because that would probably tell a lot. And it's a reactor, so. Um, like honestly, if I see a reactor right away, I'm what I'm thinking, what not a hundred percent. Well, I'm thinking 1-1-1, but I'm not 100% on it, but that is what I'm thinking, and I'm not thinking expansion. So what does that mean? I'm not thinking two base. What do you What do you mean? I mean, we, we know 1-1-1 is barracks, factory, and starport. Yeah. But what, it, what does that mean? What, so what? You know that's That true. means that there's motherfucking pressure coming in, so you need to get a lot of units out. It means do not chrono boost probes. Chrono boost your mm -hmm. gateways. Get a uh, robo out as quick as you can with the mortals and a chrono boost the shit out of that and also get an observer as quick as you can to see what kind of variation on this one one one's coming whether it's going to be banshees cloak banshees sometimes they do this little uh they do this little uh hellion drop and then they follow it up with the banshee banshee uh marine uh mar uh tank siege tank but the the characteristics of the one 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 is Lots of marines, siege tanks, and banshees, and then, like I said, there's very little variations off of that. But the other very, the other thing is that it, it's a one base build. A lot of pressure is coming quick, and as the Protoss, you want to chrono boost the shit out of your units. You do not want to be heavy on the econ. You do you want to get your fast expand. You do want to get your fast expand. You did get a scout out here too. Yeah, and I, I agree. Uh, I do like the the fast expand. I Definitely think it could have been quicker. Strong. I think it could have been quicker. Mm -hmm. I didn't totally see when that uh, nexus went down, but mm -hmm. uh, like I was saying before, you want to get it sometime after your fir very first stalker is building, even. And like I said, there's variations. Sometimes you get a zell before. Sometimes you just go straight for the stalker. Um, but what I want to see out of the Protoss right now is lots of chrono boosts on those gateways, and I want to see a robo. So does what are what are his buildings? Does he have a robo down? Uh, yeah, he's got a, he's getting it looks like three gateways and a robo. So it looks like a good reaction. Yeah, so he could build, he could be right? gearing up like well for this. Oh look at that, getting a Thor. So we've got a Thor. A little unorthodox, and uh, <laughs> I, 
feel like a Thor's, it, isn't it kind of countered by whatever, uh, whatever Protoss does? Or well, not necessarily true. What I'm gonna say is that if the Protoss reacts right, right here, a Thor is really bad because um, if you heard me talking before about all the things you should be doing, one of the things you should be doing is getting Immortals, and Immortals counter the shit out of Thor's. Um, and okay, then uh, what about when you got like ten? 10 marines as well, bodyguards. You here. should have a bunch What's of gateway. You should have a bunch of gateway stuff also and mm -hmm. uh, zealots, sentries, stalkers, they they do just fine against marines, especially with that guardian shield up or force fields or both. Man, I don't know. One time I played a team game and I got stalkers and then all of a sudden he ran up with like 20 marines and he killed the shit out of me. Okay, was, um, team ridiculous. games are bullshit. So anyway, uh, <laughs> Phoenix just scouted all that, uh, hallucinated Phoenix, mm -hmm. and he saw uh, more uh, Thor. Dude, if you ever motherfucking see a Thor, especially this early, you want to chrono boost the shit out of Immortals. You want to get motherfucking Immortals out. And Zealots also help too, but mainly Immortals. So Immortals and Zealots right here is what the Protoss wants to be going. What's the Protoss doing? Let's check it out. The Protoss has double the workers right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's great, mm -hmm. but is he going to materialize a good army out of it? Um, it looks to me like he's got a lot of... Yeah, his, oh, his man. No, no, no. Uh, I his don't know. He's very open right he's, now. he's not using the gateways. He's not, he, he's not chrono boosting out Immortals. And look at that. He sees it. He sees it coming <laughs> out. Oh, and he's pulling his... His probes out here. He's well, his yeah, that happens. So SUVs. this is sort of a like a, like kind of I guess I want to say kind of cheesy and definitely cheesy. But here's the thing: immortals do so much DPS mm -hmm. against Thors that it doesn't matter if you have the SCVs. Also, the now is it too late right now, or can he can he fight this? Do you think uh, he has a chance? Because he can't force field. Yeah, that I think Thor, he's walk through it. No, I think he's fucked right now what because he doesn't have immortals. He oh, needs to one have immortal. one or one two immortal. immortal. Chrono, oh. Maybe pull back, yeah, yeah. I like that. Pull back. Maybe pull back, but I kind of think it's too late. Oh, man, he's not attacking, though. He's not attacking. There you go. Oh, focus fired. That was a good focus fire by the Terran player. And what do you think? Just got. Little, I don't think he has enough. Maybe he just got a little too greedy. What do you... Do you think he just got too greedy, just trying to make too many probes, didn't quite respond properly? Yeah, pretty much. He should have been chrono boosting his gateways and his robo the whole time. Like, mm -hmm. number one priority was to get units the fuck out. Because he saw he was on one base, he saw he had a reactor, which doesn't 100% mean he's going to be one base, but it's like a really, really strong tell. If they start out with a reactor, it's probably going to be a one one one. This wasn't down. exactly a one one one, but it was still, uh, you know, one base. Well, look at that bullshit Man, look at tech bullshit. Let him, look at him, just take this guy out. Just one, one immortal getting repaired, and he's still. Yeah, well, imagine if he had two or three right immortals, and then it would be he, like this guy. He's like a walking planetary fortress right now. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. But, <laughs> I, I definitely agree with you. I think that's kind of how it is for any matchup. If you're ahead on bases, maybe not quite for Zerg, it's a little bit different, where it's, you know, three base versus two base against other races, you're only up a little bit. But if you're up two base versus one base in any any matchup, you're ahead. Yep. They, they have to come back against you, and that's either going to be through some sort of harassment or just beating you straight up like you did right here. Yep. So I think it's very crucial, as as Brobot said, get out those attacking units. Yep. Yeah, you need probes, but you need the attacking units too. Yep. And it was scouted. He was on one base, and uh, like I said before, I didn't call it 100% because I said it was one one one, and this was like very weird. This okay. was actually I, I'm gonna say this was weaker than a one one one, but when you have a one one one, you want immortals like badly because you want the immortals to kill the tanks in this case you had uh, Thors instead which immortals are even better against Thors than tanks um, well not really but um, tanks are like really long range is the only reason I always say that mm -hmm. but you have them out you want to get an observer of course because you're worried about that cloak banshee but you can also scout with that uh, observer in this case he got a um, uh, hallucinated phoenix mm -hmm. i actually think that's sort of unnecessary because when you go for an early robo you can just get the uh, uh observer and that can scout just as well as the hallucinated phoenix but man when you see the the terran on one base for that long you got to know something's up you got to chrono boost your gateways and i really think six gateways off two bases is too much i think four gateways is the most you want when you're defending something like this 
in addition to the robo. So you four gates you plus robo. robo or just one robo? No, no, you don't need two robo. Okay. I mean, maybe it would have worked. I don't know, but, but it's not but really the, standard. It's not really what I would recommend. But you think constantly producing, say, immortals, and yeah. chrono boosting, hell yeah, them, and then hell say yeah. make either sentry or stalker, or zealot, or just anything out of the. Uh, I think you want to prioritize prioritize zealot if if you know. That there's going like to be. This. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. If you know that there's going to be Thors, you want to prioritize um, Zealots. If you're not sure and you still think it's a 1 1 1, you want to prioritize Stalkers because you're worried about those Banshees slash Cloak Banshees. It could be either. Um, and when I say prioritize, I just mean like make as many as you can as the gas will allow, but you want to make sure that the Immortals are number one priority. So make sure you got Immortals queued up, and then get as much Stalkers as you can, and then what, with what you have left, make Zealots. Yeah, I agree. I okay. definitely agree. All right, well, I just want to give a shout-out. Thank you, Diz, for sending this, this to us. And the White Ninja, he is alive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. This is Don Wancho. And Brobot. Check us out on what, what's our channel again i think bro, we're done bro wancho bro wancho bro wancho youtube check it out peace